Hi, I'm Jeremy Purcell, the Assistant Director of Puffin Rock, and now I'm going to show you Anime Studio Pro, the software that we're using for the animation, asset build, and scene prep departments. Okay, so this is a, a design model sheet. This is what comes in from the design department after it's approved, and model build will take it and construct it in, in Anime Studio to create the characters. So, as you can see in the design model sheet, it has the different views of the character. So model build will have to construct the different views of the character as well. And then they add the controls for the animators, which can move the character by rotating any of these bones. So we can make the character look left and right, up and down, change the pupil size, and blink, turn their heads, and look. And then they do that for each character, for each turnaround, and the position of the character, as well as constructing 11 different expressions for each character. and various mount shapes from both happy mount shapes and sad mount shapes. And then that's what goes into the scene prep department. So once the scene prep department takes it, they construct the scene to the length that it's supposed to be with a small animatic playing in the top corner and placing the characters into the scene with basic motion. Oops, a daisy. We also construct any props, which are what the characters are holding in the scene, and put in the, the layers, which is the basis of what the background will be painted on. Each of these dots here represent a keyframe for, for the animator which, and for the model, which means that's where the character is changing direction or changing body position um, in small little increments. So the, the animator will insert a keyframe for the character and then insert another keyframe for the character and reposition the second body position to, to to what they would like and the computer will in between between the two body positions for them. and then they just refine it and change as much as they want. So each of the keyframes here is just the animator defining the different body positions. So for a scene like this, it gets quite complicated and not 